What's going on everybody? Just this last week, DJI released a firmware update that allowed the original DJI goggles to work with the new Phantom 4 Pro version 2. Let's take a look at how to set them up. Now, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do before we get started is check your firmware on your aircraft and your goggles and make sure they're up to date. For the aircraft, you're looking at version 1.00.1500 or higher. And for the goggles, it's 1.04.0400 or higher. Now you can check those either in the app or in the DJI Assistant app on your computer. Either way, just make sure you're up to date. From there, you're gonna wanna power on your aircraft, your controller and your goggles and jump into the goggle settings. Now the pairing process itself is fairly simple. Once you get into settings, you're gonna go into the linking settings option. And from there, you're gonna select the Phantom 4 Pro version two aircraft. Now, before we go any further in the software, we wanna make sure that our aircraft, like I said, is on and we're gonna put it in pairing mode. We do this by pressing what is that small orange light is actually a button. I like to use a SIM card tool, but you can use whatever you want as long as it fits in there. You're gonna press it for two seconds. You'll see the light start to flash and you know that you are in pairing mode. Now at this point, you may hear the aircraft disconnect from your remote controller, that's fine. You'll wanna hop back into the goggles and click confirm. Now it may take a few seconds for the aircraft and the goggles to recognize each other, but once the syncing is complete, you'll get this nice little notification to let you know. And because the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 uses OcuSync to connect to the goggles, you can see that you're going to see the same live view format settings, smooth mode, HD mode, and normal mode. They range from 1080p to 720p at 30 frames per second. You're also going to see the head tracking, gimbal information, and all that. Now, if you've done it correctly, you should see something like this. Obviously not exactly this. This is my desktop, but you should see something the image, the overlays with all the aircraft metadata and all that. So now that we've got these synced, I'm going to go take them out for a bit, test them and see how they work. All right. So that's it. That's how you sync up the DJI goggles with the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. And if you have any comments or questions, let us know in the comments down below. Until then, have fun and fly safe.